So many exciting things happening. We're wrapping up January and all the vegetarian dishes we do in January. And yes, I know we did a meet uh, yesterday for Super Bowl, but uh, you gotta try that. That was, that was worth it. It was worth breaking the rules for January. But I'm gonna wrap it up by reviewing this line of products. You guys saw me use the Meatless Gardein uh, product in the tacos. If you haven't, the link's on the screen and uh, you can check that out. It was amazing. These are all meatless products. Before that though, this, this arrived in the mail. Didn't know it was coming at all. The company is called Touch Heat Oven Mitts and they're really cool and they're bright orange and they're silicone and I'm gonna use these in the kitchen for a while. See how they work. It's hard to get your hand in them though. Because they cling. Yeah, getting them in and out is a little tough. But I'm gonna review them anyway. Gonna use them uh, to get cookie sheets out. So if you'll see them throughout the show as we move on throughout the year. So Touch Heat, it's touch-heat.com. Thank you guys for sending this to the show. I'll check them out and let you know what I think. All right, come in close. Let me show you the products real quick. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how I'm gonna prepare these. Okay, so I have six products. I've already done this one. This is the Beefless Ground. And so I'm gonna put this off to the side. If you wanna see this, uh, go check out the uh, oven baked uh, top vegetarian tacos. This one right here is a black bean burger, Chipotle. I'm gonna make this in a burger. I'm gonna try and make these the way I would normally eat the regular patty. So I'm gonna make a burger out of that. And then this one here, teriyaki chicken strips. Look, it even comes with a sauce packet. And then this one is the meatless meatballs. I have marinara sauce. I'm gonna sprinkle a little cheese, heat it up. And then this one here is fishless fillets. Contains omega-3 in it too, and yet there's no fish. So I'm, I got a little tartar sauce, gonna try that. And then this one right here is chipotle lime crispy fingers. And that's supposed to be like chicken fingers. Product number one, the meatballs. Now this is how I'd have it. I'd have it with some marinara sauce, little mozzarella melted on top. So this is, a, and if you look, look how beautiful the, the meatballs look. They look like they have seasoning and everything just like a handmade meatball would. All right, let's give it a try. Yeah, that's really good. I'm not just saying it. Because I'll tell you which ones I don't like. I promise you that. I don't know this company. I don't owe them anything, but I want to be really clear that that was surprisingly good. I just have to, hold on a minute. Oh, excuse me. All the spices are there, all the seasoning inside. It's a little mushier. It collapses a little bit easier than a regular meatball. But the texture, oh, it's scary how close they nailed it. All right, on to the next product. All right, here we go. This is the fish sticks or the fish fillets with the omega-3. First of all, I want to break it open and see. Oh, they're hot. They don't really break like fish, but I mean, you, wanna, you can't expect them to. But I see they've layered the meat a little bit, uh, like the meat on a fish would be layered. So let's give this a try. Give it a little dip, 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 dip. All right, here we go. Hmm. All right, that's good tartar sauce. <laughs> All right, let me taste it without the tartar sauce. It was hard to get a, a, get a bite on it. All right, the breading's good. It's good. Oh, wow. How did it get the fishy taste on it? No, seriously. You know, I'm really blown away right now. It's layered like fish. It has a fishy flavor, it has an amazing batter. And if you dip it in tartar sauce, it's really good. Um, I, I would never know these weren't, 
if I was just talking with somebody and they served them, I would be like, oh, hey, here's a great fish sticks or fish fillets. They did a really good job. This is kind of scary how good this is. Uh, once again, the, just the texture isn't 100% fish, but it's all there. The flavor is there. The breading is, is really good. All right, moving on. I'm going to tell you right now, just by looking at this, I can smell all the seasoning that, that is on these chipotle lime crispy fingers. And this is supposed to be like a breaded chicken finger. And I have to tell you, they're nailing everything. They're making sure the batter is delicious, the seasoning is delicious. And they want it to feel and look as much like chicken as possible. Ah, hot. That looks like chicken. That looks like chicken. Can you see that? That looks like chicken. That's just scaring me. And as my dip, I'm using um, the Olive Garden Italian dressing as my dip. Okay, so let's dip it in the dressing. And here we go. That's pretty good. The seasoning is really good. All right, well, I'd say it's 70% chicken texture when you're chewing it, but I mean, they're doing amazing things with this stuff, I'm telling you. And if I couldn't eat meat for some reason, let's say there wasn't enough meat in the world, I would totally be jumping on this. And this is a little pricey, you'll have to price it out on the internet, but uh, it's not like this would feed a family of five. This would feed, feed, feed like three people. So far, this isn't my favorite. The other ones blow this away, but this is pretty darn close. Okay, look at that. Tell me, does that not look like real chicken? Ooh, it's hot. Look at that. Look, look. It breaks just like real chicken. It smells like real chicken. That's unbelievable. And then I've got a little bit of my teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna try it in. It's even juicing like real chicken. Now you're seeing this with your real eyes. I mean, you're seeing this. You, you've got to test these. Uh, very surprised where this industry's going. I'm a meat guy always, and we'll be going into meat real soon, I promise you that. But this is blowing my mind. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would never know. You put this like I did a stir fry once. Put that in a stir fry. I'd never know. Put that in a chicken sandwich. The flavor is right on. Very impressed. Little sauce, maybe. It'll, you never would know this wasn't me unless you were told. Okay, so I left the best for last. I love burgers. Let's take a peek under the cheese. This is what the patty looks like. Looks like a real meat patty. Okay. Gonna cover that up right there. Sorry, if that was my burger dance. All right, here we go. Tastes like black beans. It's a patty of black beans has a texture of a rare patty. Kind of falls apart like a rare tender patty. Pretty good. Oh, there's the chipotle. It's a hint of chipotle flavoring. Wow. Well, there you go. I couldn't find anything wrong. Chicken was a little off on the chicken fingers. Every other product I thought was amazing. Give it a try, and I'm a meat eater. This is coming from me. I'm going into short ribs next, real short ribs. So get ready, February's coming, meat is back on the Cooking with Jack show. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.